What's up guys, I'm back with a YouTube video. As you can see by the title, this is my Q&A video. So I went on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat and I told you guys to ask me some questions and we're just gonna get right into it. But before we do that, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that bell so you are notified every time that I upload a video. All right, let's go. Okay. So, I'm going to be looking, like, down because I have my notes right here. But the first question that I'm going to answer is, what is your name? My name is Jemiah, but I go by Maya. I don't know why. Well, yes, I do. Because a lot of people just mispronounce my name all the time. So, I just go by Maya. But my name is Jemiah. The second question is, how old are you and what is your birthday? I am 21 years old and my birthday is August 19th. My third question is where are you from? So this is kind of like a two-part question. Well to me it is because I was born in Maitland, Florida and I lived in Florida for like four to five years and then I moved to Orangeburg, South Carolina. I don't know if a lot of people know where that is but yeah but where I lived like growing up the rest of my life it was a small town in Orangeburg County called Springfield, South Carolina. My fourth question is, do you work and where do you work? Of course I work. I mean, I wouldn't be able to live if I didn't work. But right now I work at Walmart and I also do DoorDash. If you don't know what DoorDashing is, it is a food delivery service where you go to restaurants, pick up the food, and then you deliver it to the person. The fifth question, or the next question, is do you want kids? Yes, I do want kids, but I don't want kids right now. Maybe in the next nine years, because I always keep saying that I'm going to wait till I'm 30 years old to have kids. So maybe 28, 30-ish is when I might start having kids. The next question is, what school do I go to and what is my classification? I go to the College of Charleston in South Carolina and I'm a senior this year, which is something that I've been waiting for my whole life. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it's been a long time, but it doesn't really feel like it's been that long. But I am a senior and I will be graduating in May of 2020. All right, my next question is why did I choose to go to CFC? So, I chose to go to CFC because I did Upward Bound. If you don't know what Upward Bound is, it's kind of like a transition program for high schoolers. And they have it in different regions of the state. And my in my region, I was at Claflin University. And I was there for four years of my life and I just wanted to do something different, see something different. So that's why I chose to go to the College of Charleston, better known as CFC, because it was going to be something new for me. I was going to be around a lot of different people that I didn't know. I was going to be able to experience different things in my life as far as living in the city. And it was just more job opportunities here for me. But it was a tough decision. I was like, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go here. Every time I got an acceptance letter, I was like, no, I'm gonna go to this school. Then I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna go to this one. And I was like, oh no, I'm gonna go to this one. But in the end, I chose to go to College of Charleston. So the next question I kind of got asked twice, but it's okay. So is how do you stay focused on your studies work and maintain good grades and the second was how do you manage your time in college while doing work along with living a normal life so the way i kind of like balance everything out is really just like through time management so for example on mondays i don't have class until one o'clock so i would either wake up early say around like six o'clock and study or do some homework that maybe not be due on Monday, but maybe due the next day. So I go ahead and get that out of the way. Or I do DoorDash during that time. And I don't work 
at my regular job on Monday. So I dedicate that time to studying and I have class until 6.45 every Monday night. So I use this time to get all my studying in, do homework, do personal assignments. When I say personal assignments, I mean like to-do list, basically like what I need to do when I get home or what needs to be done for this week and things like that. My next question I also got asked twice and it is, what are my plans after college? And honestly, I do not know. I know that I want to get a job either in marketing or tourism and hospitality because those are my majors, but I don't know what I wanna do. Because within the hospitality and tourism world, I've already done food and beverage, I've done catering, I've done retail. The only thing that I really haven't done was working in the hotel industry. But what I really wanna do is do something with my marketing degree because I haven't done anything with that. So if I had to choose something to do when I got out of college, it would be pursuing a marketing career so that I can get some experience under my belt. My next question is what inspired me to do YouTube and what are some of my YouTube influencers? What inspired me to do YouTube was that I love talking and I talk all the time. So I figured that I might as well record myself talking so that people will understand me more, sort of say. And I like to make people laugh and I love laughing. And I feel like I, I would be able to share my gift more through YouTube. So some of my influencers, a lot of them are couples, but I don't necessarily see myself making this a couples channel just because I want people to know me without my boyfriend. Because sometimes that's how people get lost. Well, that's how I feel like some people get lost on YouTube. They're only known as one thing, as da-da-da and da-da-da, like a name and a name. But for me, I just want to be known as Maya. And that's it and then maybe i might get to know him later but for right now it's just about me but some of my influencers are diary and ken i love them i started with them from the beginning and i just love to see them grow and see how far they come along and i just love them they're everything some of my other influencers that i really love uh latoya her channel is latoya for life She's just herself and she's herself all the time. She doesn't try to be herself for her. She doesn't try to be anybody else. So that's why I really love her. Uh, another one of my favorite influencers would probably be Love Nicole from Nicole TV. Like she is the definition of being yourself. When I say she says whatever comes to her mind, she does whatever she wants to do but she's also herself and she lets it be known like i'm gonna be myself i'm not gonna try to be like anybody else because i try and it's not working like it's not gonna work another one of my favorite influencers is trinity her youtube channel is trinity j she is also another person that is who she is and she's not gonna change for anybody she's gonna be herself regardless and I just also would like to say congratulations to Trinity. She is expecting a baby. And I just pray that she has a safe and healthy pregnancy. So, yeah. I forgot to record this when I was recording the previous video. But, yeah. <laughs> now, this question... <laughs> I'm not going to say who wrote this question in but i just find it so hilarious and every time i think about it or i read it i start laughing but this question is how old were you when you got your first boyfriend <laughs> honestly i don't even know the answer but i'm gonna think about it i think that i i think i was in eighth grade when I got my first boyfriend, I mean, my parents, I don't even think my parents knew. Well, to me, he was my boyfriend, but to them, he was just my little friend. And we went to our middle school prom together. 
and yeah it, we weren't together for that long but or whatever we weren't talking for that long because we didn't do anything but like text or talk or like see each other at school but yeah that was my first boyfriend I think I had him in eighth grade and I think I was 13 yeah I think I was 13 years old wow being fast I'm just kidding <laughs> Okay, so this next question uh, came from one of my friends. She asked, how was my apartment slash my new job? So I moved in at the end of June into my new apartment. Uh, my parents helped me move, my aunt, uh, my boyfriend and his brother and my grandfather, they all helped me move. And let me tell y'all, it was hot. It was hot emphasis on the T it was hot but um the apartment is good I mean it's quiet most of the time other than my neighbor's dogs barking all the time but other than that it's pretty good and the new job she's talking about is Walmart I've been working at Walmart since August but she asked about a new job because we used to work at this salad shop together which is a story time for a whole another day but the new job is good you know it's not that it's not as strenuous as my last job was so I'll say it's good yeah the next question is is it more difficult living on your own no it is not difficult for me living on my own because I don't know why it's not difficult I just feel like you know you do what you gotta do you know you pay your bills and then hey I mean the only thing that I say would be difficult is you don't well I don't have like as much of disposable income so like I can't do as much things as I would like to do you know like going bowling or going skating or going to the movies but in due time those things will come you know you just have to be patient and you have to do what's right for you or what's in the works for you because everything isn't for you at the time and that's what I believe so to answer that question no it is not difficult on your own you just have to stay on top of your bills and you have to clean up after yourself but that's not hard so yeah the next question is do I have a, a morning skin routine or a hair care um routine no i do not have a skincare routine because i have really sensitive skin so i try not to use a lot of products on my face and when i do use a products on my face i don't use it like more than twice sometimes i don't even use it twice a day because my skin gets really irritated i mean right now my skin looks kind of clear but just last week i had a a pimple or a bump right there on my forehead which was not cute not at all as far as a hair routine i don't really have one either but i do try to oil my scalp every week to keep my scalp from being dry and building up dandruff and i also just spray um water on my hair every morning before i leave just to keep my hair um hydrated and just because i have dreads doesn't mean like oh i'm just gonna get up and go and not do anything i do spray it with water and i do oil it once a week uh, my next question is what is my favorite thing to do when i'm bored um i guess i like to sing i like to sing and i like to dance those are like what i do when i'm really bored I like singing listening to music and dancing to that music it's one of my favorite things to do if I'm not doing that, I know I'm going to sound like an old lady when I say this. I do word search books. Yeah. So old. I do word search books. And I'm trying to get more into reading. So I just started reading more. Like whenever I'm bored. I'll like play like white noises in the background. Or like some study music. And then I'll read. My next question is what is my favorite food, candy, and my favorite drink? So if you know me. Then, you know, my favorite food is spaghetti. I can eat spaghetti for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I can eat it for seven days a week. I just really love spaghetti that much. And my favorite candy, 
So it's the difference between fruity candies and chocolate candies. So my favorite chocolate candy is Snickers. Of course, like, it's Snickers. No getting away, getting around that. Don't bring me a Twix. Don't bring me Mr. Good Bar. Don't bring me none of that. Snickers. Snickers is my favorite chocolate. And as far as my favorite candy, like fruity candy, I love a lot of fruity candy, so I don't feel like I can really choose one candy. But I will say that I do like Starburst and I do like Hot Chew. Those are my two favorite fruity candies at the moment. And my favorite drink, I'm going to break this up also because I do drink a lot of drinks. But um, like a favorite juice, I would love fruit punch or berry drinks. My favorite soda is orange soda. But y'all know who else loves orange soda? Kale. Kale loves orange soda and so does Maya. We both love orange soda. Um, My favorite like hydrating drink i love gatorade and powerade so i guess that is not a favorite because i love both of them and my favorite energy drink i love monsters i used to drink red bull but then i started drinking monsters and found out that they really wake me up and then i love coffee but i also love tea so honestly i don't know if i have a favorite i just like all of these things and that's that on that my next question is how long have i been with my boyfriend um who I know the answer but I just don't feel like pinpointing it so in January of 2020 we will be together for three years so right now what is that two years and what is this month two years and ten months that's how long we've been together but in January it'll be three years and my last question is where do I see myself in five years so in five years, I see myself um, owning my own business. Right now, I think that I want to have, and I know this is not like me or whatever, but I either want to have a towing truck business or a construction business. And I also see myself in the works of my nonprofit organization for children with, or children who are epileptic. But I think I want to like push it out or expand it to not only children, but people with um, epilepsy uh, in general. Uh, my youngest, well, not my youngest, my younger brother had epilepsy and I just know like how hard that can be on a family and I just wanna be able to make that a little easier with coming up with a, with a cure for it or uh, raising money so that it will help with people's um, medical bills so that they don't pay as much or to try and do something like that i also see myself in five years uh hopefully still on youtube uh still entertaining still inspiring still doing what i love to do i see myself living in uh, my dream home that uh, me and my husband yes i'm saying husband because i do plan on being married in five years because I want to be married before I have kids I know that's not you know how things happen all the time but for me personally that is what I want I want to be married before I do have kids but I see me and my husband living in our dream home that we're gonna build and the last thing that I'll say I want to see myself being a teacher not a teacher like in a classroom but like a mentor or a teacher kind of thing for young women and men who feel like they don't have anywhere else to turn, they don't have anywhere else to go. So I see myself doing that in five years. Whew. Well, that's it for my video today. I hope you all liked it. If you want to see more videos like this from me, just comment down below and also comment some more video video ideas you would like me to do and don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel and turn on that bell so you're notified every time i post a video <laughs>